Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is episode 11 of your Vancouver Ravens My League. And today is a very big episode as we are in year 2022-23 with your Vancouver Ravens. As uh, we didn't really improve very much during the offseason, the team has practically stayed the same. Uh, no real big improvements. A couple development in DeAndre Ayton and stuff like that. Everyone else has practically stayed the same. Uh, but we're seeing some good uh, potential out of Nicholas Pax, uh, Claxton, who is actually jumping up to be a pretty good damn player. 80 overall. Thing is, we have Marvin Bagley III, who we really just, we, we don't really need a power forward position, funny enough. Um, Adam Moko and Khalil Whitney will probably stay the same overall as everyone else is a B potential. So we don't have very much potential, but for DeAndre Ayton, Marvin Bagley III, and the Mellow Ball. So your new team is uh, the new starting six in this year is going to be a little bit different as we have a new starting guard. Uh, as we lost our small forward last year, I can't remember who our small forward was, but we lost him to free agency. Uh, this year we're going to have DeAndre Ayton, Marvy Blagley the third, Demar Derozan, Anamoko, and then Lamelo Ball will be our point guard. We got the backups is Nicholas Claxton, uh, Alfred Payton. Alex Len and then Kill Whitney, and then also we got Alfonso McKinney as well as one of our backups. We have a pretty good amount of backups going for your Toronto Raptors, or not your Toronto Raptors, your Vancouver Ravens. So let's just jump right into the simulation. We're not going to skip a beat. Uh, we're going to get right back into winning some big games as we want to make it back in the playoffs. Ah, um, uh, shit. That means Alfonso McKinney, and I want to see. Because that means it's going to fucking edit it every goddamn time. Yeah, we're going to have to edit it manually, that means. Because it's just going to fucking put all films on McKinney in there instead of fucking Alfred Payton, which we need Alfred Payton in there because we have no fucking power for DC that we have no point guards in our shit. Like, it's just going to do this every goddamn time. So Alfonso McKinney cannot play. Like, that's been the one thing that I've been asking for is him to not play. But you guys keep breaking that on me. Um, so we're going to move Alfred Payton up a little bit. Khalil Winnie can play a little bit more minutes. Alfred Payton can move up to 24. Claxton can move up to 25. He can move down to 20. And we give Claxton 27. Payton 25. Whitney, yeah. So we're just going to have to do that every time someone gets injured. We're just going to have to go in there and manually do it. Because I want Alfred Payton playing point guard along. So I want him to be our backup, right? Uh, with uh, the mellow ball. Um, adjust rotation manually. So how good was uh, BJ Boston playing? Because he's going to be our future shooting guard. you got to remember that. We don't really got any future um, with him right now. He's on absolute fire. Um, but we are going to have to scratch him because our boy Alex Len is back in the lineup. So we're going to move him um, back into a spot where he can play, which is usually right about here. So we'll come back that those 20 minutes. Khalil Whitney will downgrade you a bit. How well is Khalil Whitney? 7.3 points per game. He's been a big time contributor for us this year. Uh, we decided not... Oh, yeah. He's been our small forward. But since... I'm like, might as well give Adam Moko a chance. Uh, he's struggling a bit, man. 6.5 points per game. If he doesn't do good, we'll give... Actually, you no. Know with BJ Boston doing so goddamn good, as you guys can see, let's give BJ Boston a chance in that, uh, that starting six. He's a shooting guard. He's been playing really great. Let's give him a chance in that starting position and see how well he takes with it. If Blowjaw Boston can really perform good in that spot, get us a couple dubs here. We get one with him in the lineup. So, I mean, if we could, if he could perform really good for us, I feel like he could definitely be that man that could be part of that starting six. Ten points per game. He's not doing that bad um, for the amount of games he has played. Um, do we play him full time is the question. They want Kilo Whitney to play up in there. So we're going to give about. We'll give it another two weeks. Let's see how well the team performs. If BJ Boston just does not perform very well and we're losing a ton of games, we're going to have to adjust manually again. Um, Alex, then we're going to take him out and we need a um, center. So Alfonso McKinney, I guess he could do it since he can be a power forward as well. So we'll throw him on in there and we'll give him those 20 minutes. But how well does Adam Oko? He gets 6.5 points per game. And BJ Boston, who has been having 10 points per game with 3.4 assists per game. Um, how well does Moko do? 
2.5, 2.2 rebounds per game. There's still time to tell between the two, both of them. Um, let's just keep assembling. We need to get some big W's here, man. We're struggling a bit to get W's right now, which is not very good. Because we've been able to win a lot of games. Last year, we made it into the playoffs. Now we're just in that 500 range. No, we do not want to trade BJ Boston. And Claxton gets injured, so we're going to have to adjust the lineups once again. This is kind of like the first year all over again. Us having to fucking manually do the lineups 24 goddamn 7. Um, who was he? Claxton? Alfonso McKinney could play there. So we're going to use Moko um, into that bench spot, I guess. And we'll give him the, the minutes that... Uh, he was not having, and then McKinney, yep, all these guys can play there. Uh, BJ Boston, 11 point, uh, yeah, he's doing really good. 2.5 point assists per game. He has a field goal average of 488, a three point average of 360. He hasn't missed a three throw yet. Adam Oko last year, um, 7.6 points per game. He had lower assists than last year, a 473, which is BJ Boston's better. And he's a bit better three-point shooting this year, but he didn't play that much. So overall, B.J. Boston's a better player than playing that shoot, uh, shooting guard position. DeMar DeRozan, of course, he's playing good, 11 point. He's on, he's still on his down end of his career, so I don't think he's going to be playing very much. We're going to leave B.J. Boston in that position playing that shooting guard, though, because he's been doing really good for us, and I think he could really step it up for us. And Moko's just not our guy. I don't think he's going to be a guy that uh, we're going to rely on to play um, big time minutes on a team for us right now. Um, I, don't, I don't think he's that guy that's going to be playing full time for us. Alex, I'm going to get him to that 27. McKinney, yeah. Whitney, yeah. We only have Alfred Payton there, so that's kind of concerns me. Um, we could use uh, Moko in there instead. Get McKinney out of there with his minutes, and we'll throw Moko in. So we have a shooting guard and point guard, small forward. And stuff like that. So we are all organized and ready to go. We can keep simulating on with. Hopefully we don't get any more injuries. Lucas Lucas really needs to help us coach this team to the playoffs again. Because uh, we're struggling. We're 11-9. and nine. Where are we sitting at in the playoffs? So I'd like to check that out. Uh, and we need to really get another good pick this upcoming draft. I think it's going to be focused on shooting guards and point guards. Osman and White, so two players for DeMar DeRozan. So let's let's take a look at this deal. You got C.D. Osman for DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan's been a hell of a good player. C.D. Osman, 7.3 points per game. He's a shooting guard. We already have multiple shooting guards, and I don't see picking up a 27-year-old to play this year. And Akora White, too, has been struggling as well when DeMar DeRozan has 12.4 points per game. Uh, no. <laughs> No, thank you. So where are we sitting at in the playoffs? We're way at, we're just about we're a half a game back of the Kings. So we're we're right behind there. Like we're right near a playoff position. But seeing that not improving and kind of getting worse during the off season kind of took a toll on us. Um, just uh, manually. Because BJ Boston, I mean Demar Derozan dropped off. We're just not seeing that that same production that we were seeing last year. The Mello Ball has kind of dropped off from what he was doing last year. We really need a good small forward slash shooting guard to really pick up the slack of the rest of the team, um, because of that 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 weakness that we're having there um, is not doing us very good. So Moko, you need to get the fuck out of there for Claxton. You need to lower down your minutes, and Claxton, you can boost up yours. We're going to be playing in Alex Len's spot. Alex Len could go down to 8. Peyton could go there. And you could get back to your 29 minutes of play. And yeah, that's that's all that's it. So let's keep on the simulation. We need to start winning some big time W's here, guys. We really need to start winning some games. And start putting down some W's. If we start, if we lose two more games. Okay. So BJ Boston's out. We're going to have Lucas Lucas just take over coaching and let him do the job of putting Alfonso McKinney, even though we don't want him to put him in there. We're going to put Alfonso McKinney in there, and we're just going to have to see how the team does because right now we're not seeing the team perform. The mellow ball, a first for Jamal Murray, and oh, well, let's negotiate there. So you want to take my boy, the mellow ball, for Jamal Murray, who is not that great of a player, and Robert no, I'm not trading you the mellow ball. No fucking thank you. No, that's not happening. 
Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you fucking joking me? Are you joking me? I fucking pressed the wrong fucking button. No, are you fucking joking me? Are you fucking joking me? I pressed the wrong fucking button and it fucks me over. Are you fucking joking me? Are you fucking joking me? Oh my fucking god, man. I pressed the wrong fucking button. Oh, that fucking pisses me off. There's no way that you cannot fucking save it because... Fuck! Oh, fuck me. Well, they were persistent. And, well, we fucking took Jamal Murray. Uh, Canadian boy, we took him. And there's no way that we could possibly redo the trade. There's no way we can revoke it. Anything like that. So, I mean, Jamal Murray, I mean, I don't know, man. It was a bad deal to take, but whatever. We did get a small forward in Robert Covington. So, I mean, it's not a bad deal. It's not the deal that we should have made. Uh, but maybe this kind of juices up the team. I mean, Lucas Lucas is probably like, you need to make a change. He must have not liked the uh, uh, Lamelo Ball, but we do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we traded away one of our fucking prospects in Lamelo Ball. We got rid of him. And uh, so a little bit of a, a mistake, a little bit of a, a mess up. But we traded one of our big time star players in Lamelo Ball and picked up Jamal Murray. But it does look like we're going to be losing a lot of our games here near the end of the year. So we might have to change a little bit thing of, of this team up. I think we're going to have to do a quick little retool because we made it into the playoffs last year and it just seems like we're not able to connect that connection that we had last year. Like, we we're really struggling just to get the Ws right now as a team. And also, did they take any picks from me? I want to really see that as well because... Um, Oh, that really fucking sucks. What type of pick did they take from us? Was it the Nuggets? No, it was not the Nuggets. Oh, yeah, they did take a pick from us, the Ravens, in 2027. So we don't have our pick this year. Where's our pick? Was it with the Raptors? Ravens, Ravens, Ravens. Where's our pick? Ravens, 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 Ravens. Where's our pick, boys? Did we, where, where did we trade it to? Did we even trade it? Is it just not showing or something? Why is it not showing? Why is it just showing? Why, why do we only have a second? Oh, that really fucking sucks. So Toronto is going to have probably a lottery pick with us this year. Oh my god, man. Our luck in this video game, man. We just have one good fucking year. And now we're just going to get totally dicked on. Because the one thing that we did was pick up DeMar DeRozan. And we got to get start getting W's here, man. We got to we gotta get, we gotta get W's. We got to start winning games, man. We cannot keep losing every single game that we jump into, guys. Like, we got to start winning games. This is a team that we, we are a good team. But, man, we got to stop struggling. It's been a it's been a constant pace with the Vancouver Ravens where we just cannot win games this year. We've been struggling to just even keep a consistent pattern. And it was my fault for not improving. It was a I'm I'm really hating myself for doing that Lamella Ball trade. Like I'm really it fucking sucks. Like, oh that pisses me off. Like this is I'm like wishing that like it's going exactly like how the Florida Panthers series is going. Like it's just we're so unsuccessful right now as a team. We're just going on that downward trend. Oh, I mean, that's what teams do. They go on downward trends sometimes, and you start doing really good. You just you hit that bad patch, and right now we're hitting a bad patch. We just need to start winning games, though, and that's all we need to start doing. Once we start winning games, I think we could get into a good playoff spot. I hate that stupid fucking deal, though, man. It's so stupid. I just want my boy Lamella Ball back. That's all I want from you guys is my boy Lamella Ball. Six fucking days. Are you shitting me? And that's fucking past trade deadline. Oh, that's a piss off. Can I, like, at least try to trade him? 
Fuck! Oh, I fucking hate this stupid game, man. Oh, whatever, man. We're 15 games back. There's no way that we're making it in the playoffs this year, man. We need to fucking retool. So, I guess we're just going to have to go with Marvin Bagley III, Jamel Murray, and DeAndre Ayton. Which, I'm not going to hate it because DeAndre Ayton and Marvin Bagley III have been playing good. Jamal Murray hasn't been doing too bad, 14 points per game. We really need to retool the team. Now, DeMar DeRozan is going to go bye-bye. We need to just load up on draft picks this year. We lost out on a lot of potential for the past couple of years. And just for now on, we're just going to pick up players and we're just going to do draft picks for now on. I think that's the best thing that we're going to do because we've been getting dicked on with doing trades and stuff like that. It's not been our smartest uh, shit. Oh, my God. Paul George, $39 million, 32 years old. He's probably going to want to test free agency, though. And he's 32 years old, a guy that's not producing as much as he used to. That kind of concerns me. So, no. No one just wants to do a, a pick. So, we're going to have to trade DeMar DeRozan manually. Um through just doing this and just pick up a pick. So team that needs a shooting guard. Which could be this team. You guys can definitely take my uh, DeMar DeRozan next year's. Teams are allowed to trade for their first round draft pick in consecutive years. Stefan Rule. What the fuck are these stupid rules, man? I really do not like the NBA. I, I actually don't like it very much. Like, I, I, I don't mind playing the game. Like, I'm trying to learn how to play this game. Like, I really am. Uh, oh, they would have 15 players. Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of this pick and then throw on, like, a random shitty player. So, like, Theo Aldridge. Never mind. So, it just does not work overall. Okay. All right. Uh, the Bulls, unprotected. Player. Uh, we'll let just, oh, no, okay. We're not doing that just straight up. Uh, pick, we'll throw in, like, a second, unprotected. And, oh, my God, I hate the trading system in this fucking game, man. Oh, I'm going to fucking kill myself, man. Okay, fuck it. I hate the trading system in this game so goddamn much. It pisses me off. The way that this trade system fucking works. It's stupid. So we're just going to have to find a pick that we can get for like a guy that we can actually use on the team this year. So a guy like that in a first, yes, Lakers, sure. We'll do that. A prospect in him for DeMar DeRozan. So DeMar DeRozan's off the team. Get him off to Lakers. Um, Covington, we cannot trade him anyways. Alex Len, we're going to get rid of him for a couple picks. A second there. We're not chaining away one of our picks. So that's not happening. The first in 2027. Yeah, we'll steal some more picks from you, uh, the Lakers. We'll load up on picks. We're just going to load up on picks. Like it's, We really screwed up our team, I think, trying to push for a playoff position. I think it's just going to be free agency only. It's going to be the best thing for our team to do right now because we really can't do anything with this team. It's just shitty. And... I mean, for the best thing right now for us to do for our best price is just to go out there and get some draft picks to load up. I mean, it's all we can do right now. And get some young players. I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, lottery protected pick. Spurs and that guy. Sure, we'll do that. Spurs. And then we will do another deal to get rid of Claxton because we do not need a power for it as we already have Marvin Bagley the third. So Claxton... We are going to trade you to maybe get someone else to actually help our team out. Um, not power forward wise. So we're not going to look for a power forward. We're going to straight out trade for a point guard. Carson Edwards. Hmm. And then we also get a power forward, which is not bad. So let's see what he is all about. Potential is a B plus. So that's not bad. So that's something to keep in mind. Small for Kelly Oubre, but he's not gonna jump up anymore. Uh, Putin, new. No. I don't think we're really gonna see anyone else. Alfonso McKinney, new. No. Anybody else? Does not look like it. So we are gonna go back to the pick that we were thinking in Carson Edwards. Yes, Shabazz, sure. 
And that is our deal. We are done with trading. I don't give a shit if we're going to be bad this year. That does not matter. Even if we give get a good pick to the Oh, my God. Uh, even if we give a good pick to the Toronto Raptors, I don't give a shit. We just need the we we need the rebuild. Okay, I, I know I've said that like we were gonna try to make it to the playoffs. We we made it to the playoffs, and now we fucked it up by trading away Lamelo Ball, who is our future player. We traded him away to pick up fucking Jamal Murray for fuck's sakes, which was the stupidest deal that I ever made. And now we're gonna be feeling it for the next couple of years. So now people hate me. Now people want me fired, which is just great. Um. So I think uh, I'm going to try to finish up a lot of series before I head off to Calgary because, you know, um, the Vancouver Ravens is going to be one before I end, before I go to Calgary, just to let you guys know. Uh, I don't imagine seeing myself doing any, any more NBA. Uh, practically, my goal is with this series is just to go out there, win a championship. Once we get that one championship with this team, uh, we're going to go out there and just end the series, and that will probably be it for NBA games. Uh, because of the fact that I want to start streaming full time and stuff like that, uh, and once I finish this series and stuff like that, which don't worry, I'm gonna still upload it every single week uh, and still do the draft and the off season like I usually do, and do one video for each and stuff like that. That will be a usual thing. Um, but for right now, we're gonna be probably ending the series um, when I, before I go to Calgary, which is August. 24th so i'll probably be ending it off before then where i'll just record an entire just fucking couple hours of game footage and then upload it um so i'm hoping you guys will enjoy that and stuff like that so it's gonna be a lot of work towards the ending but i'm hoping we can actually win a championship with this team because it's been a lot of bad luck with a lot of my franchise modes uh the toronto blue jays has been wonderful we've actually made it into the playoffs the florida panthers um not doing very good i mean we have made a, a the, the team look better we're gonna make a couple more moves before i simulate into the season until we totally dick on ourselves uh but there's still lots to improve there with that team so don't be surprised when i do a couple more deals with that but overall i messed up the uh, vancouver ravens pretty bad and this is what totally takes me out of the game sometimes this is that those stupid things when you misclick or something like that and you totally fuck things up but anyways, we're not focused on fucking things up. We're just focused on ending off the season as we are going to be giving our pick to the Toronto Raptors. So Stephen Curry wins the most valuable rookie of the year, goes to Ricky Fowler's. Blake Murphy win, uh, Gr Blake Griffin wins the sixth man of the year. Kawhi Leonard wins the defensive player of the year. De'Aaron uh, De Fox wins the most improved. And Brad Stevens wins the um, best uh, coach. So, oh. DeAndre Ayton made it onto the second All-Star team, so congratulations to him, one of our best players, uh, making it onto the All-Star team, All-Defensive team. Uh, second team, Commenton made it onto there. Nice. We have a very good defensive player in Commenton. Maybe someone to keep in mind for the later future, but there we go. That's it, and there's the playoffs. Uh, but overall, let's take a look at the team this year as we lost in the Mellow Ball, which sucks ass, and I'm still going to hate that for the rest of my life. Um, but let's take a look. How well did he do with the Nuggets? I'm curious to see now. Nuggets, 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 Nuggets. 17.6 points per game. He had a worse year this year, but man, he's still that all-star that we should have kept. I mean, it wasn't our fault. I fucking misclicked, but you know, my fucking luck. But let's get back to the Ravens and uh, take a look. So Marvin Bagley, 30, had 18 points per game. He really stepped it up. Uh, near the ending there. Jamal Murray, 13. Oh, that was hor That's horrible. That is horrible. Lamella Ball is a way better player than Jamal Murray and way cheaper than what Jamal Murray is. You have DeAndre Ayton, Carson Edwards, uh, Quincy Olsen, Cole Whitney, Commenton, BJ Boston. And <laughs> I'm fucking hating myself right now, man. I'm really just, oh, this pisses me off. Anyways, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going into a very rough draft as we do not have any of our picks. So that that also sucks that uh, practically Toronto Raptors are going to be getting a free fucking first round draft pick with our pick. And then plus they're going to be getting their own. So wherever we finished off in the standings, they'll be getting our pick and their own pick because they finished dead last in the standings. So they're getting two really good picks. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Adios, amigos.